Question for my formula sheet for dimensional analysis. Energy is m ml squared t minus 2. The left hand side. Right hand side power is m l squared t minus 3. And then I've got t. Remember that this time, so I've got time. Just check I've got everything there, yeah. Right, let's see what we can do with that. So, um, let's have a look. So we've got 1m, both sides, that's good. Left and right side. We've got L squared on both sides, so that's good. And then we've got T minus 2. Well, we've got here T minus 3, but we've got a T to the power of the wall. Cancels. So it cancels, yeah, so we get a T minus 2. So it's good then as well. Did you all manage to do that okay? okay. Not as scary as it first looks, is it? When you get down to it. Cool, that's good. I'll tell you what then. Let's have a go at the other one I mentioned, which is a similar thing, but this time, when I find what I've done with it, VI for power. So volts times current. So I'm not sure how this one works, so let's have a go. So if I change, can I rub this line off now? Yeah, yeah. Yep. So now, let's change my power to volts. You mean power over volts? Yeah, yeah, another P equals VI as well, doesn't it? There's a lots of formulas for power, lots of formulas for energy. PI time, watts per second. So energy in joules. So I have a go at that one. So you're definitely going to need your second sheet that I gave you to find your one for volts and your one for current. So this is a challenge. Look, this is uh, more challenging, obviously. The maths is just the maths, not the, the not the theory. The maths is quite intense. So let's have a look. So we've so why, did you do, so why did you do two brackets there? Two brackets here. This first one's for volts. Oh, right, right, right. This okay. is for the current, and this is for the time and the end. So each is its individual dimension, if you like. Made of three dimensions. Uh, right, let's have a look. So if I multiply that into that, I add the I add the indices together. So I'm going to get m to the one. I'll put, actually write this in, and if I do the same with that, I'm going to get that uh, added together with that, so it's going to be uh, four halves, that's two, that's L to the two, and then I've got T added together with minus, uh, that's going to give me minus three plus one whole one, so back to T minus, minus two. two. That's nice to see. Should all be like that. So without repeating that, I can see I've got my m again. I've got my l squared, and I've got my t to the half uh, to minus two. So that was that was took a bit. At first, looked scary, but it actually came out quite well in the end, didn't it? It worked well.